New details this morning. Lawmakers say the pandemic has nearly depleted the strategic national stockpile of personal protection equipment. Hospitals nationwide are in need. There are now more than 400,000 coronavirus cases nationwide and more than 14,000 deaths. CBS 4's Gwen Bumgardner explains. The CDC is out with new guidelines to help keep essential workers on the job, even if they've been exposed to COVID-19. Take their temperature before they go to work, wear a face mask at all times, and practice social distancing. Previous recommendations suggested self-isolating for 14 days. Everybody wants, they're going stir crazy. The changes come as President Trump looks for ways to reopen the country. It would be nice to uh, be able to open with a big bang and open up our country. Federal and state officials are still urging all Americans to keep social distancing. Don't get complacent about that. It's not a time to get complacent. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says the stay-at-home order is working. Still, the state's daily death toll continues to grow. The bad news isn't just bad, the bad news is uh, actually terrible. To make matters worse, the strategic national stockpile of equipment, like masks and ventilators, is nearly depleted. While we've had a little support uh, from the national stockpile, we haven't relied on that. California signed a deal to get up to 200 million masks a month from China and is sending equipment to other states. We will avail ourselves uh, to others in need, and that includes not just ventilators, but certainly would include uh, issues related to PPE. State leaders around the country say they've had to bid against one another when buying equipment. Gwen Baumgartner, CBS News.